he pay you. Don't lie. Is that normal thing that you used to do when someone wake up with you and you don't want to block their life, block their family, block everybody? You find something that will make you say, Alhamdulillah, thank God. Hi guys, on to Kudi here. Welcome back to Kudi Skana. If you are new and what you are looking for is love, acceptance, assurance, you are just at the right place. So subscribe already to join the family of love. <laughs> let's talk about how to deal with wake up because it is a stage in your life that you still have to overcome it's just like all those problems coming to you in life wake up is one of them and what do you do you don't give up you don't commit suicide you don't let the pressure get a hold of you you stand up for yourself baby girl you stand up for yourself bobo so yeah <laughs> in this video let's look at the three tactics that you can use to tackle yes to tackle breakup, rejection in your relationship. Guys, this this point, these three points I want to give you, they are like the standards, the pro. So nothing again, sincerely, these are just the things that you need to do. Yes, and this is about for yourself, to get over breakup, for yourself and by yourself, from yourself, like democracy. <laughs> so yeah, three tactics to tackle breakup number one they stop them with call yes that person that just broke up with you they stop them with call call them like even right now if you have not done that call them keep calling them keep sending text messages keep calling them keep shutting them up and you know why i'm saying this to call them to disturb them perhaps probably they don't know what they are doing they, they don't know what they are doing their mind is not made up you know or the breakup was a conclusion a jumping into conclusion kind of thing you calling them you testing them you shutting them up who kind of want to cheer them into wanting to actually think okay i break up with this girl i break up with this boy like is it the right thing to do should i do it or should i rethink yes if you because you know in life they say that if you want to overcome your problem you face it face it and nail it in the head so probably probably even the the breakup maybe you receive a test message or a call and you know it's a prank or the person was just playing with you as an example now you got a call from your partner and the partner says oh i'm breaking up this relationship and then you hand the call block their number block their life block their family block everybody and everybody <laughs> and then you do that and then they are trying to call trying to tell you that this is a prank or trying to tell you that oh i was just joking but you already broke them <laughs> you know how disastrous that will be so yeah yes 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 they stop them with call they stop them with text messages if you can't give them a lot of assurance that you still love them that you will do anything for them that you are ready to sacrifice make commitment for your relationship tell them everything you know yes that no matter that you used to do when someone break up with you and you don't want to agree do it do it i'm telling you to do it yes do it just stop them with a lot of calls like i said before it will help in cases whereby it's a prank it's a joke or you know they could actually rethink their they could actually rethink their decision you get that kind of thing so if you call insistently you send messages and then you shut them up who knows miracle might happen so that is stage one they stop them with a lot of calls and then if that doesn't work you disturb them with a lot of calls text messages don't worry let them say you're persistent let them say you are a what a what, a, what whatever like a whatever you do let them call you anything they want to call you but in the end you will know that you tried you try to make amends you understand you try to make amends in fact tell them that you will change if there's actually a behavior of yours that they do not like or they complain about make that effort to change and that will not be you selling yourself short no and that will not be you trying to let someone change you 
if you really know you love that person you want the person to be your partner be willing to make some commitments some little little sacrifices for them so try to change also in that process of disturbing them of course tell them that you have changed you now maybe they don't like this particular thing you're doing tell them that you will now change you learn you know you learn to 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 do it in a way that they actually agree with or you they should try to manage you or to teach you until you can you know be satisfiable to them and make sure that there is a limit to this because you know there are some certain things you cannot change about yourself so don't even bother <laughs> so that is one step after doing that and you are still a break up <laughs> like yeah you are still being broken up with nobody's calling you to tell you that oh it's a prank oh we're just joking i behold i we think my decision and i think we can we are good to go then you move to the second stage pew, pew. cry that's the second stage cry begin to cry like cry now it's a big deal you should cry why are you not crying like why are you not crying someone just broke up with you unless if the person is not a partner that you have seen future with and not a person that you are planning with you are planning your life with then you can just let it go eat and dine you know but if it is someone if it is your partner that you you were really serious with and you already you know projecting the life with them planning your life with them then you should cry why are you not crying it is a sin it is an offense if you are not crying because you need to cry because it is something that is very very painful there's nobody you, you cannot be crying and somebody will ask you what happened and you tell them and they'll say stop crying no even if that person says stop crying you shouldn't stop crying you should cry why because you need to let everything down you see all these uh, in the bosky people all these uh, forming art people that they'll have break up and then immediately you see them transitioning into happiness or forming one happiness or something like that posting stickers posting stickers uh that they have moved on without actually going through these three processes that i'm making that i'm talking about in this video that person has not moved on those are the kind of people that i'll be i'll be mentioning in another video in another video whereby they will now go back to their heads their faulty heads they will go back to the heads but no if you're able to go through these three stages there is nothing that can shake you there is nothing that can move you because by the time you get to the three stages that i mentioning, you are already set what is supposed to come back would have come back what did not come back you would have moved on from it neatly and fine yes so cry cry because you really put in the lot my dear you really did a lot you really really did a lot you put in your effort everything you did just to make that babe stay everything you did just to make that nigga yours cry baby cry just cry let it out let those tears out because yes your heart really wants to cry your heart really needs to shed tears tears that will make it stronger yes so cry crying is very very important because if you don't cry you don't cry when the breakup happens you cry later and that by that time, people will be asking you what happened even you will not be able to say what happened because what has happened was a very very long period ago and now you'll be regretting it by that time so yes cry why do i even keep saying cry 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 <laughs> crying is not it's not a bad thing like some people say god will not let me cry but then just cry let it out please just let it out you discover that people who cry who have the habit of crying they easily take things off their heart yes why because they have shed it out they have shed out the tears everything has washed away so yes do that do that cry cry don't be a partner that will say, I didn't cry for you. Cry. He pain you. Don't lie. So cry. Yes, yeah, seriously. That is the second stage that will actually take you to tackle the breakup and let you move forward in your love journey. 
then the third one which is like the end of it after you have the stop them of course they did not get back you cried you know you cried your heart out your heart is already washed the next thing you should do is to relieve the memories relieve the memories yes do that flashback to everything although this can also happen in the process of you crying then that will be you joining uh, the second and the third stage together but you should cry first and then relieve the memory when you release the memory and you know just remember everything that you have gone through with this person let me tell you one tactic by the time you are releasing this memory thinking about everything that is where you now find out that this person is truly not the one for me or this person was not actually so one that i want to settle with because of this and that because you see in love eh love is crazy and why is it crazy because it it will blind you you will not be able to think straight ah if love is catching you <laughs> if love is doing you like you will not be able to think straight but now you have you have been broken up with you've disturbed them there was no 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 positive reply you have cried now you are releasing the memory you're thinking about everything now your mind your 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 mind is playing your mind is playing you're not thinking about them in the moment of love you're thinking about them like after love after love because the moment you have cried some part of them would have been erasing from your heart it would have even erased like if not completely and then you know you are trying to get them off you're trying to convince yourself yes that that is the word you're trying to convince yourself that yes i need to let this person go so you need a reason for that you need a reason to let people go people might be amazing people might be wonderful while you are with them but you discover that when you're going to this stage you find something that will make you say alhamdulillah thank god because when you really think about it deeply you realize that this person is really faulty in this way but i was i was willing to let it go i was willing to just live by it because i was in love so that moment you are no longer in love you just feel like i shouldn't have let this past so let me just this person i this person is not someone i should even bother about again because of so 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 and so and so and so this and you know the sweet thing about this thing is that everybody has their faults you know in this life nobody is perfect so everybody has their fault so once they broke up with you and you have tried to you, you have tried to get them back nothing you have cried and then you are releasing this memory and then you now find a fault in them you will always find one fault in everyone so you will always that is the funny thing you will always find a fault in everyone so when you find this fault you just feel like oh i should let it go and then voila <laughs> you have tackled your breakup successfully you have tackled it successfully <music>